if he's the killer? <laughs> what if it's him? Yeah, he's the killer. My heart's beating. I think I know it's kind of... <laughs> my heart's beating. Really fast, I mean. <laughs> it's always beating. Oh, I'm freaking out. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to You, Me, and the TV. And we're continuing season one of Dexter tonight. We're on to, we're halfway through after last time, so we're on to, what, seven and eight tonight? So we're going to have some fun with that. What do you remember from last time? The security guard in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And he, he remembered the lozenges. Mm-hmm. And, oh, Dexter almost got caught. Yeah, he almost got caught. They set him the, up. The ice truck The ice truck killer set, set him up to, but... Not dove to, down, yeah, grab dove down. one of his bodies, and put it back. Yep, pretty, where he him. pretty nuts. So, so let's see how the ice trick killer plays with him this time. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Subscribe if you want to know when we're doing it again. Let's continue Dexter season one. Previously on Dexter. It was difficult to tell. It was dark. Yeah, I think it was him. The guy in the glasses that they brought in who was walking his dog. I think he's the... You think he's the ice truck killer? Yep. Is my heart beating? You getting a goddamn hard on there, Morgan? No, it's truly horrific. He was your book committee, you said? I've seen these wounds before. Neil Perry, I know that name. Ah, yep, told you. Why would a voluntary witness be at two separate crime scenes? I don't know, maybe he was chopping up hookers. <laughs> hey, Neil, I got him! Please, stop running, Perry! Well, now he knows he's made. Did you hear that? I'm on the team. <laughs> You think we get hats? <laughs> you think we get hats? Where are the kids? Uh, your husband swung by a few minutes ago. He didn't tell you? I've never seen Cody light up like that before. Big treat, the old man coming uh, down. Wait, wait, wait. You gave my children to Paul. Are you stupid? Well, nobody told me. He just got out of jail. Oops. Follow strict sterile protocol. There will be no contamination of my crime scene. Bag anything that could be used to murder or dispose of a human body. Uh, that's pretty much everything in here, boss. Except this. Chupacabra. Chupacabra at home. Can I have permission to run Masuka's prints as an ice truck killer? No need for that. <laughs> I'll give you some warm DNA right now. Oh, my God, you're gross. Oh, I hear that. God. <laughs> uh, detective, I found something. I mean, what if he kidnapped them to get back at me for putting him in jail? Did they not have Amber Alerts? Uh, Dexter Morgan, I can't think of anything clever to say. I missed a lot of things. Did we just hit the mother load? No, we hit the mother mother load. Well, thank you for making me the woman I am today. I mean, Paul was supposed to be locked up for another year. Joint foot massages? Don't get any ideas. I'm not touching your feet. Ugh. <laughs> your talon toes? No thanks. I don't hurt innocent people. Short on money for weed, so I guess I'll do it for less than Jamie's charging. Wait. What does Jeremy charge? Jeremy's selling himself? Oh, I mean, he's always hanging out with the Brokeback Boys down in Flamingo Park. Comes back with fistfuls of cash. Hmm. Help! So lifelike. Because it is pathetic. Deb, trust me. Neil Perry is not a killer. He's a dabbler. He's a waste of time. Then you turn around. You were saying? What happened to the limbs that they brought off? Sawed nope. off. They're clean cuts. You're the expert, Dex. What do you think? Is it really possible that the master's on the run? And even more tragic, does he live in a double wide? Doesn't fit the profile that he has built in his head of this killer. One that matches more like what he is, mm -hmm. right? 
maybe this is kind of a rude awakening that not all serial killers are like him. Are like him. Yeah. But he's maybe unique among among them. His haircut looks like it's straight out of the 70s. <laughs> all right, I'll just put him in uh, something. I know flowers would never work for you. No, I hate flowers. I think they're stupid. They just die. Right. Leave them in the ground where they where they grow. I like meat on my feet. It's real squishy. Oh. <laughs> we got a profile of Neil Perry. He's a computer expert. IQ off the chart. He's a loner, no priors. The strip's full of no-tell motels. It's like a happy hunting ground for hookers. Good chance that's where he's killing his victims. Right, Some mangroves over by the lake. We can go in there. It's too public. What's wrong? <laughs> Take it easy, Jeremy. Stay right there. Take him down. Take him down. Uh-oh. Stand behind your back. Stand up. Stand up. They already had him made. <laughs> Dexter was a little late to the party. Clear. Please, I want to get out. So where was he going? The liquor store. He said he's coming right back. Oh, shit. They got to leave her. <laughs> How do you explain to a <laughs> traumatized person that they gotta leave her there? <laughs> Wait. I'm on to you. Great work, Sergeant. Yeah, yeah. Your instincts were dead on. They're always dead on when it comes to killers. Why is that? I'll just go get that report. I'm watching you. <laughs> Miss me? Police. On the ground, get down slowly. Oh, the darkness Face down, let's go. Begin to fields and beasts and flowers right. soon right. will be asleep. Perimeter secure. The f was that? Made me think he was gonna blow her up or something. Like I thought he planted a bomb in her or something. Here for the kids. Came to dazzle them with my booty. This booty. <laughs> Uh, this is awkward. I'm afraid I'm not comfortable letting you inside the house without Rita here. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you give those presents to my little buckets of sunshine? Tell Rita she can reach me at the motor court. Okay. <laughs> His reaction there was really sexy. Is that it? <laughs> the guy lost body parts. We get to tell him we caught the guy. Come on, what else you got going on? Wouldn't you like to know? There'll be hookers there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine, Mr. Grumpy Head. Have it your way. Nothing like that. He was just marking his territory. <sighs> Only you could make those words cute. <laughs> Stop it. He's like, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. There, there. No way. There, there. Why don't you just go away and disappear forever? <laughs> he can do that. Very easily. No, oh, jeez. God damn, you are fine when you're mad. I love the new you. I do. My ass is yours to kick. I deserve it. Here, look. Rita, I am a changed man. So you can assume that I killed them. You can assume anything that you want. The doer is merely a fiction that's added to the deed. The deed. The deed is everything. Woo! Half human, half machine. <laughs> An all man, baby. <laughs> May I have this dance? <laughs> hey, buddy, you might have a chance with me after all. Oh, don't worry. There's still plenty enough of me to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. So you made that hand and foot? I mean, how often in life do you get to make someone whole? What if he's the killer? <laughs> what if it's him? Doctor? Yeah. I have no idea what she's doing, but my patience is wearing thin. She's just listening. I used gravity boots to hang them upside down to drain the blood. Then I dipped them in liquid nitrogen to freeze the blood before I cut them into nice, clean pieces. 
so you gotta understand I, I hate blood. And there it is. All the expectations I had, all the promises of greatness wiped out. And then it was just me, my brother, my dad. You have a brother? Yeah, Dexter. He and my dad were. Yeah, he's the killer. Wait, you mean you weren't daddy's little girl? No, I was. Kind of. He just, just waiting for him to pop that lozenge. You know? I think that's why I became a cop. That's what he was. I thought maybe he would give me more attention or something. And did he? My heart's beating. I think I know it's coming. Th <laughs> My heart's beating. Really fast, I mean. <laughs> it's always beating. You know, like Humpty Dumpty. Just the pieces just weren't... Cuts them all in pieces. ...around. Oh, I'm freaking out. I feel like she's going to be the next vic... Or, you know, attempted victim. You think it's him? Yeah. Prosthetics doctor. Chopping up. Chopping off people's limbs. Like... Yep. I'm going to miss my playmate. Sure, there's Rita and the kids, but they don't know the real me. Can never know the real me. And now the father is back. And Deb's got such horrible instincts with men, so... <laughs> Everything has changed. So who's that guy? He's just a looky-loo trying to be famous. I saw myself in Jeremy, but instead of helping him like Harry helped me, I gave him a piece of fortune cookie advice that he never even heard. I failed him. He deserves better, and he'll get it from now on. Mm, except for he killed himself in his cell. Did you at least give me credit? Yes, I just gave it to you. Haven't you been listening? He's been in my home, my photos, my life. He knows me. Now I need to know him. To connect. Face to face. Before he's beyond my reach forever. I... F are you? <laughs> Dexter's like concerned, but also very excited that now he still has an opportunity to kill the guy who's mm -hmm. with him. I think the Neil Perry was just doing the dirty work for the doctor, like getting the hookers. So you think he actually he's a... I think he's maybe like an accomplice to it. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how his his connection is. I'm fairly certain it's the doctor. I just don't know how Neil Perry is tied into it. Because he had pictures that only, that only the murderer would probably have. He had evidence. He was with those So you think Neil Perry hookers. knows who the actual ice cream truck killer is and he's I helping don't, him? Or maybe he doesn't know who he is specifically, but he's been aiding him for the the fame part of it. All right. The fame and glory, if you will, That's part of it. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Well, if he's not the ice truck killer, do you think the ice truck killer is going to kill again? Absolutely. I think Deb is probably next on his list. Maybe. Yeah. To, in you an think attempt. the doctor's him and he's going to kill Deb? Or he's going to attempt to, or he's going to do something to get Dexter's attention with Deb. All right, shall we move on to the next? On to episode eight. Well, Angel, most firearm suicides are committed by men. Women tend to slash their wrists, take pills, something more ladylike. Not in Miami. <laughs> we closed a couple of suicide cases just like this last year, remember? It's a fancy bathtub. Rich husband? House husband. An aspiring artist. Oof. Promising. So she supported him. <laughs> Looks like that. She was some kind of big time prosecutor. Come on, I gotta go. There's a dead body in that house. There's a hot body in here. I so want to maul you right now. I so want you to. Mm. Mm. Laying high to salami with Mr. Prosthetics? I don't f***ing tell. Since when? We go inside and kind of wet. Don't. No, I need you to canvas the neighborhood. See what you can find out about the victim's relationship with her husband. So, what can I do for you? So many things. I need the blood spatter report on Vanessa Gale. She's relentless. I sure wish I had more for you. Mm, me too. Maria, <laughs> the DA needs the worksheet for the ice truck killer case. I'm working on it. You really think that might happen? If Perry's the wrong guy and I let him take the fall, definitely. What if LaGuardia's right? What if the ice truck killer does disappear? No. Guy with that much confidence? 
Nothing like some little Debbies and a worthy new adversary to clear my head. It's a weird keychain to be carrying around. Insane therapist. Dr. Emmett Meridian. He must be terrible at his job. <laughs> Perhaps I should schedule a session with a good doctor and try out a little reverse psychology. Do therapists ever give malpractice suits? I would imagine, yeah. yeah. Like my therapist did something that like made me hurt made, myself. Yeah, made my PTSD worse or something like that. Right? She had everything going for her. It doesn't make sense. To some people, death makes perfect sense. Life, and that's the puzzle. Like you, Sean. What really brought you here? This guy's good. So why do his patients keep dying? We found your mother's body under your house. Now you can go down as a pathetic loser who killed mom, or the most heinous killer in Florida's history. Your choice. She's good. Tyler from Key West. Speedos tanning on the beach. Touched your tits on Friday night. This is why the cold shoulder. Love, Barbie. I love you, Barbie. He loves her body. It's the best action she's done all season. Yeah. I'm sure this is really hot crying after that. <laughs> Great, she's in love with a serial killer that chops up women's bodies. Nothing but cat ladies and saggy tits. <laughs> <laughs> Miami Metro can close this case as a suicide, but I'm still not convinced. But the truth is, you're the fraud. You're both frauds. Back when you and Sergeant Dokes were still partners, Dokes got the drop on a major coke dealer, brought you along for the ride, sent you to cover the stairs, just in case. Only you got lucky. And you made the headline grab, and so the legend began. How would he know about dokes and her? Breaking and entering. <laughs> Suicide's respected. Even revered as a matter of personal conscience. He's like egging them on. The truly courageous of heart. His guns. He's encouraging them to kill themselves so they... Oh, yeah. I just, I wanted to see you. I felt bad about missing lunch to be with Paul and the kids. This is a disaster. I chose Rita because she was damaged. If she gets better, I'll lose her for sure. I'm ready, Dexter. Oh, jeez. There's lots of naked women this episode, huh? I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Oh, sucks. Yeah, shutting her down's not the greatest way to keep her. Just shot her confidence now. Come eat one of your That'd be a hell of a story to tell a bullpen, huh? <laughs> not likely. I gotta tell you, I'm not going anywhere. Until Dexter kills him because he's the icebox killer. Where the hell you been? With my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yep. We just f***ed in his office. Yeah. And we're having dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> like I'm sleeping with him, and he likes me enough to take me to dinner. <laughs> Maria, we talked about this when it happened. It would f*** your rep and make me look like a whiny bitch. It's bad for both of us. So then the only way to access that information would be to read the police report, right? I guess. We have to have our firewall checked. Oh, that's how he knows this insider information. Mm -hmm. That's how he got the pictures. Because he's, he's a hacker. So. Yeah, he hacked their firewall. Okay. Well, that's how he's connected then. Well, that makes more sense to me. How do you deal with your wolf? I know, we just let it out for a big meal once in a while. At least three times that we know about. This is ridiculous. I could be killing him right now. <laughs> You want there to be a next time? And a time after that. He doesn't even realize that he's connected to her. Like, he doesn't realize that 
He's not empty because of her. It's so weird that he, he doesn't even, like, recognize his own humanity. Mm-hmm. There's so much of it. He doesn't even see it in himself. It's kind of sad. Really? I think you can. I mean, you chop people up, don't you? Maybe you need a closer look. No, keep it away. <laughs> I talked to the medical examiner. He couldn't confirm how your mom died. Said it might have been a heart attack. I killed her. You don't have the balls. Because you're not a killer. You're a coward and a fake, aren't you? She gets better every episode. Like, she, as a character, mm-hmm. her character gets better. More likable. If that's what you two want, I'm fully behind it. I was really Helps worried. her move up the ladder if they get f***ed. Yep. I'm gonna tell you something that I've never told anyone before. I'm a serial killer. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, that feels... So amazing to say out loud. That's right, you've already told me everything I need to know. Why powerful women? They double overlap that tape that is around over his head and they double it so that it's not actually sticky. Yeah. It's interesting. A neat freak. <laughs> You're just full of surprises, huh? <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I'll be there as soon as I can, okay? Okay. Told you. Barbie, be patient. One day we'll share a cold one. Told you. Mm-hmm. I hope it's not Deb, though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's that not the shared, shared, the shared yeah. cold one that they... Yeah. All right. Well, Miss Detective, you sniffed out the ice truck killer mm-hmm. as soon as he was on screen, for the most part. First revealed him like, four, like two episodes ago, where I was a doctor. Yeah. This is a quick yeah. shot. Did you have any... Nope, not until this last episode awesome. seven. Yeah. As soon as I saw him in episode seven, I was like, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait, he's really interested in limbs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's too convenient. And in Deb, that's very convenient. <laughs> yeah, we're getting more into uh, the whole uh, the love story here, right? Mm-hmm. Deb's dating the ice truck killer, yeah. as we discovered. Mm-hmm. She picks and, real uh, winners. <laughs> Dexter and uh, Rita have... You know, yeah. gone to the next level. And little, he's not as dead inside as he yeah. thinks he is. A little help from a shrink. Yeah. Now, the question is, do you think the shrink actually killed those girls? I think, no, not... Or do you think no, he because he drew... Yeah, he, he didn't kill Dexter them. Dexter said it was okay because he was the one that egged yep. them on? Mm-hmm. Right. Yep, he encouraged them to kill themselves, hmm. thereby killing them. But And so Dexter, that's how Dexter rationalized it in his right. brain. So these last two episodes, LaGuardia has kind of... Uh, She's grown on me. Grown on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. At the beginning of the season, she kind of looked like she, you know, was... She was going to be the jerk. She, the way she flirted with Dexter and the way, you know, Deb talked about her, she kind of slept her way to where she was yeah. kind of thing. It looks like she's actually a very competent she is detective. Very good at what she does, I think. Got Perry to confess and then sniffed out that he was a fake at the same time. So. Mm-hmm. She didn't so much sniff that out without the... The push from Dexter. Dexter. Yeah, I think if Dexter hadn't had mentioned it. I think she was already thinking it, and she kind of, like, went to Dexter for, like, what do you think about Perry? I think she already suspected it, but she wanted to know Dexter, because I think she trusts Dexter's instincts on that. Yeah. So I think she used him as, a like, a second opinion kind of thing to jump right in. Mm -hmm. Right? So what do you think's next? we got four episodes left in the season you know who the ice truck killer is yeah how's this all going to come together Oof, i don't know but i'm very excited to watch it play out yeah. i could binge watch the rest of the season easily 
We just don't have time to do that. Yeah. <laughs> if we well, weren't we... doing this at, in the middle of the night, I would just sit down yeah. with you all day long and watch all mm. of these. Chime in on your thoughts. Did you pick up Rudy as being the asterisk killer when he was introduced? Or how long did it take you to figure out? Or were you surprised until they revealed it at the end of the eighth episode? Let us know in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, down here. Give us a th thumbs up. Hang thumbs out with us up. some more. Yeah. Till next time, have a good one.